Hello, everyone. Am I the next guns blazing? It's yummy time. Please don't pull a guns. We need the memes. You guys, I think I have an idea as to why guns blazing quit Duel Links. Let me start by saying this is all speculation. I have no facts to these claims at all. This is all just my opinion. I think I have an idea. Cuz. It's really... Okay, as somebody who has been putting out Duel Links content every single day for the last, like, I don't even know how many months. It's really hard to do that. It's really hard to keep up with it. And... I mean, like... I can understand maybe Guns was frustrated with how the game was going, how it's very repetitive. I mean, yesterday while I was streaming, I had an issue where I didn't have any like new decks to play or anything like that. And really, we only get new Duel Links content when new boxes come out or like even with the events, I feel like they've been repeating events lately or when they re release like new cards for the events, they're not like anything crazy. And like, it's really weird cause like, Oh yeah, I'm wearing, sorry, I'm wearing a Yum Peepo pin right now. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like the meme decks people don't really want to watch, or if they do, like, it's really hard to get wins with the meme decks. And then like, meta decks get really old after a while. So like, if I, if I do meta decks, I'm like in a lose-lose situation either way. People tell me that I copy DK's decks, etc. Even though I really am not, I'm just net decking from a website that a lot of people use. And then if I if I try to make a meme deck and try to play it on stream, I sit here for two hours and get like 30 losses and one win. And then it's like, and then I sat there for two hours during the stream and I'm like, wow, I just wasted my whole life. <laughs> I don't know, like I can kind of get it. Like if we look, by the way, please watch this video for some reason. I asked everybody if they'd be interested in, first of all, I asked everybody if they'd be interested in Kingdom Hearts videos, okay? Clearly, people who are subscribed to my YouTube channel are only subscribed for Duel Links content. And like, I appreciate people who have watched this video, but I just don't think that there's like enough of an audience within my subscribers for me to keep uploading Kingdom Hearts content because it's like, then we just wasted an upload. Um, but I went to go on this rant because I was thinking if we look at if we look at Guns Blazing's videos Okay, he still is climbing up in numbers on on I don't know on YouTube I guess somehow even though he hasn't uploaded in like a month since he quit But like if we look at these videos Like let's go back to like a couple months ago and they were like at 50 70k views a video and then it kind of like dipped a little bit leading up to the point where he quit, like here we have like a 29,000 view video or whatever. And then we go at, we go look at Duel Links meta as well. And I like, don't, don't, you guys don't take this out of context at all. I'm not like, I'm not like trying to bash anybody at all. I just think that this is like the whole Duel Links community. It's like, there's only so much that I can do with this game that it's just like, look, we're looking at like 48K views. And then today there was a video that was like, Elemental heroes, no cuts, um, you know, like that's the kind of content now that we're getting because we don't have a new box out. And it's just like, my frustration is I don't want to stick to just Duel Links forever. That's not what I want to do with my life. My passion does not lie within Duel Links or anything like that. And the point of me trying to, to put out different kinds of content is just because I want to grow my own channel as like a content creator, whatever whatever that means. I have no idea where my channel is gonna go. Um, but again, like I just, I think I'm just a little bit frustrated with like, a lot of the times Twitch streamers have this, this idea or this, they give advice to people who are trying to do variety content or whatever like that. And you're supposed to really start with like, build a community, build an audience with one game and then you can start branching out later which is kind of what I'm trying to do right now. But it's like when people like say that I, I have no skills and that I need to get a real job or whatever, it's like, I feel like people don't give content creators enough credit because it's like, it's actually not easy doing this stuff. I can never predict what people are gonna wanna watch, um, what people are gonna wanna pay for. You know, like I make pins for Plush Egg, I'm trying to make clothing and stuff like that. And it's like, 
I can only do so much. I can advertise all my stuff all I want, but if people don't want to buy it, then they're not, they're not gonna buy it, you know what I mean? And so it's like, I feel a little bit like, frustrated, I guess? I don't plan on leaving Duel Links, at least not anytime soon. But like I said, I'm not gonna stick around and be in Duel Links like forever. I just want to be able to, to be like self-sufficient make my own merchandise, make my own clothing, artwork, whatever I want to do, and just be able to live off of that. And it's just kind of like, I'm a little upset with today's video. Again, thank you for anybody who has watched this Kingdom Hearts video and who is interested in the Kingdom Hearts videos, but it's just like, part of me w wants to just stop uploading these because first of all, a lot of people are done with Kingdom Hearts 3 and I'm still on the toy box world. So I'm not getting anywhere with those and and like I have to film within like a time frame like I can't I can't film at like 3 a.m. or whatever for whatever reasons uh, I just can't like I'm not gonna explain to anybody why I can't do that but like I just can't film at any point of the day whatever so I only have like a set time frame where I can film these things and then it's also like I feel like I'm missing out on the game because I'm not playing as much as I want to and then when I am filming it and then putting on YouTube, it just kind of feels like I wasted my time because nobody wants to watch it, you know what I mean? So like, yeah, don't get me wrong, like I really appreciate people who want to support this kind of thing, but I am also at the same time just a little bit frustrated and like flustered with a weird like awkward transition of like trying to do Duel Links content but also trying to do other content, you know what I mean? So like, yeah, anybody who thinks that content creation or playing video games for a living is like easy and people laugh at that and stuff like that, it's like, it's not really. Because I have to be entertaining. There are times where I come to stream and you all know like I've had my days where I'm like not in the mood to be on stream or chat with people But I have to push through it anyways because technically that's my job I left my job and now I do this for a living and it gets really scary when things like this happen because How how am I gonna eat like how am I gonna support myself? You know what I mean? So sorry. I kind of ignored the chat for a little bit um Anyway, thank you for listening to my rant. I'm gonna read the chat. Can you rant more often? This is quality content. I See, here's the thing that I really appreciate too, is that people like my rants for some reason. Yet, I, I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can really make a video out of me ranting. It's just, just something that I wanted to get off my chest. Uh, it gets a little bit discouraging sometimes with like, there are slow months and there are busy months with streaming and YouTube, etc. There are slow months with plush egg. All of this stuff, like, it gets scary, you know? And I think that's when I start having these thoughts and these rants about like how hard it is to actually make a living doing this stuff. By all means, like, I don't plan on quitting Duel Links. I just think that there are times within Duel Links that it just gets really stale, especially right now. And then we're gonna, we're gonna like have the KC Cup. We don't get a new box for a while, probably till after KC Cup. So until then, I'm kind of like out of decks to play. Unless I wanna play a meme deck that's gonna lose. Like, I don't know. I just feel like the re a big reason why I feel like Duel Links 2 is really hard to make content off of, as I said earlier with this whole, like, there's a, there's a video here that's like, no cuts, it's like, it's an e-hero deck, you know what I mean? And like, the, the way to get people to watch it is just to be like, oh, there's, there's no cuts in this video, look, look at this, like, five straight wins. Which is completely fine, but it's not like it's like, new cards or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, Duel Links content creators, I feel like, just run out of, run out of content a lot more quickly than somebody who's doing, like, Overwatch or Fortnite. Like, Fortnite people can just stream Fortnite forever. And then oh, what? They, I mean, like, what never I... run out of content somehow. I, I don't know how, asshole. but it's like, people are completely fine with that. And they, they just, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the game, like, I can only do so much. And Duel Links is really weird because, again, if I play a meta deck, people say that I'm like copying other content creators. And then if I do a meme deck, I just feel like I'm wasting time on stream where I could be like recording actual quality content 
such as these rants. Just kidding. I don't think this is gonna be on YouTube, but um, anyway, yeah, I am kind of ranting right now. We're we're testing the waters as well with uh, my internet because the internet guy came over today and everything seems fine today. Uh, I think we're gonna try and get a new modem, but so far no drop frames. Knock on wood. But yeah, I I, I don't know. So. If anybody has bought a pin, or if they plan on buying a pin, I greatly appreciate it just because I feel like we've invested so much into this. And I will say, like, it gets kind of discouraging at times. Like, am I doing this all for nothing? Or, you know, like, am I really, like, spending my time where I need to be? You know what I mean? It's just like... I don't know, like, I quit my job to pursue things that I love. And sometimes I just feel like... I mean, maybe not- I'm not questioning whether or not it was the right choice, because it was the right choice, but like... It does get really scary at times. Especially right now, when I'm trying to- when I'm trying to like, expand my content, and then people just don't want it. So it's like... I feel like it's like a lose-lose situation. But yeah. I don't know, sorry for the rant. Um, I don't know, I guess I've said everything I need to say. I just, please watch the Kingdom Hearts videos, or else I'm probably just gonna stop. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna stop uploading Kingdom Hearts videos if I can't get at least like a few thousand views on them, because I just feel like it's a waste of an upload. <laughs> Truly, like, I, I, I hate to say that. I do, but when, when people say that numbers don't matter, they freaking matter. Like, anybody who's a content creator who is like lying to everybody and just being like, oh, don't worry about your views. Numbers don't matter. It's like, yeah, hell yeah, they do because this is how I feed myself. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, eight hours ago, 600 views. It is really discouraging. Ha <laughs> ha!